picked up a couple battery maintainers, one for the Trans Am and one for the Rally 350. These Noco Genius ones. And I also got 10 foot extension cables. Now, I'm not familiar with this brand, but they had pretty good reviews on Amazon, so I thought I would take a chance. And uh, the cost was the cost was reasonable. Leads. And the maintainer. Now this charger is compatible with lead acid, AGM, like the Optima and the Trans Am, and lithium. I don't have any lithium batteries. But it's nice that it's selectable between the types. Now the connector, there is a star shape and a round post, so you can't get it hooked up backwards. And then with the clamps, same thing, star shape, round post, can't hook it up wrong. And there is a two amp fuse. And then the, the clamps for the battery posts. I bought the 10 foot extension cables. Now I may or may not need these. But depending on where I park the car in the garage, I'll have these if I need them. So, let's get this hooked up and see how it looks. I went ahead and connected the extension cable. And that gives me plenty of cable where I can loop it up over the hood latch and I can duck under it. And I have the clamps connected to the posts and this battery also has side post. So that was convenient. I can hook them up right there. And the next thing is to plug in the charger. And I'm on 12 volts, which I have a 12 volt lead acid battery. And I'm charging. Now this has a one amp output, so it's not a quick charger, but I don't need that. I just need it to maintain. Top off the battery and then maintain it. Well, you can see I have it connected to the Trans Am's Optima battery. I've lowered the hood on the Trans Am and I've lowered the hood on the Rally 350 and I have the cable located where I can duck under it pretty easily. So I'll let these I'll let these do their business and when I want to get in the car to take a drive I know I'll have a topped off battery. And it's also good for extending the life of your battery, especially with cars like mine that don't get driven a lot. Well, now after a couple hours, the Noco Genius 1 amp charger maintainer is now at that state where it's pulsing green. And this is hooked up to the Rally 350's lead-acid battery. 
Well, it's been four days since I connected the NOCO Genius 1 charger maintainers to my classic cars. This one's connected to my 1970 Olds Rally 350. The Rally 350 has a 600 cold cranking amp, traditional lead acid battery. And after four days, the light is still pulsing green. And according to the manual, the bulk charge is complete and optimizing battery for extended life. But it has not gone to solid green after four days. This NOCO Genius 1, one amp charger maintainer, is connected to my 1974 455 Trans Am. And the Trans Am has an 800 cold cranking amp Optima AGM battery. I think that's absorbed glass mat, which is different than the traditional lead plate battery that's in the Rally 350. This took three days to go from pulsing red to pulsing green. Now, according to the manual here, Pulsing red is when the battery is less than 75% charged. Now, I'm not buying that my batteries were down around 10 volts. I don't believe that for a second. So I'm not sure where they get that 75% number. I know that, you know, when my battery is charging, the alternator will output 14 and a half volts. And when the batteries are just sitting, that the output of the battery measured with the voltmeter is about 12 and a half volts. So I don't know where that 75% number is, but it's not voltage. I think something to consider when looking for a charger maintainer is just how much output do you need. Now these chargers are 1 amp, or 1000 milliamps, and the maintainer I have for my Moto Guzzi, and the Moto Guzzi battery capacity is significantly less than these cars, that is an 800 milliamp output trickle charger. While the ones I have for my cars are 1 amp or 1,000 milliamps. So they're very small. And I think that's going to be okay for my needs because I just need these to just keep the batteries topped off. I don't need them to charge the battery from a low state, you know, from a low discharge state. I just need to keep it peaked off. So if you're looking for a charger maintainer, I would take into consideration just what do you need it for. Because one amp is, I mean, that is the bare minimum. That is a very small charger. But I'm hoping this is going to do what I need it to do. Now my cars during the summertime in Arizona will sit in the garage for five months and they won't be touched. And I want these charger maintainers, or trickle charger, just to keep the battery stopped off. I think it'll do that. But if you need something a little more robust with a little more output, you, know, you might want to look at something else.